Hello everybody, welcome to Simple Living with Brie. So this is my kitchen and this is just an overview video of tips and tricks to save money while you're out grocery shopping. So we're going to be going through meat, how to save money meat wise, buying bulk and then just bulking foods as well just to make more of the meals that you're cooking your family. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. So the first thing I want to go through, the first thing that's here is meat. So meat is obviously the biggest um, costly thing on most people's grocery list. So what I have here um, are two large pork loins. So they're actually half uh, pork loins each and they weren't on sale, but they were at a fairly decent price. So 13 bucks for a large half pork loin. So I guess I have a full pork loin here between the two of them. Um, so with meat, I've had a general rule for a couple years uh, that I'd like to keep it to about $5 of meat per meal, uh, which ends up working pretty good for us. Sometimes it's a, it's a little tough, especially with ground beef, um, but you just subsidize. So for example, if we're using or if we're making tacos, we'll add some beans in with the taco meat and it kind of beefs it up, for lack of a better word, but beefs it up enough so it provides enough food. So the $5 rule, it works for our family. There's only two of us, um, but with that $5, it also gets us through to lunch the next day for both of us. So we get, for $5 of meat, we get to feed both of us for supper and for lunch the next day. So technically per day, we are uh, eating $5 of meat. Um, so what I would typically do with this pork loin uh, is there's no rules here. <laughs> so what you could do, uh, since it's $13, I would probably at least aim to make three meals out of this. Um, but what I would do is I usually like to make a roast. So I'll cut part of it as a roast uh, you can marinate it, put it in a bag, put it in the freezer. And then I'd like to any of the undesirable parts on the side. So you can see that there's fat lines. There's also fat on the back. Uh, you just cut that off. And sometimes there's pieces of meat that are stuck on with it. So you can cut that part portion off. And then um, I like to just freeze it for stew meat. So just pieces or even skewers. And then of course, the most important is pork chops. So you just cut your own and portion your own pork chops. So that's what I do with this. Um, we do have pizza night probably once every two weeks and we make our own pizzas. So with the local restaurant here, pizzas are 30 bucks for a large pizza. We figured it out. We can make four large pizzas for like under $10 which is absolutely crazy. I love shopping at Walmart. So Walmart has discount sections, um, which every once in a while I look in. I've had some bad experience with the discount meat section, but for the most part, you do get a couple bucks off. So, which is very helpful. So this is two for 20. Chicken breasts are obviously a little bit more expensive um, than the other meats. So here you're getting this package is 10 bucks. So what we do is we do two chicken breasts per meal, um, which likely means that we are not, you know, we don't usually just have chicken breasts by itself. We'll mix it into stir fries um, or other kind of dishes where it's just beefier, maybe like a pasta. And then other little things. So this is a big <laughs> container of sausages. So here I could probably get four meals out of, especially because we usually use this in like jambalaya or skillets, stuff like that. Um, and then this was $10. So that's definitely a good deal. Beef is another thing that ground beef is usually another thing that's a little bit more expensive as well. So this was $15. I could split this up in three. Um, what I usually do is just split it up into four and it definitely suits our need. <laughs> Mayo. Um, so we 
don't buy salad dressings. We make our own salad dressings. Um, any kind of sauce that goes in pasta salad or salads or dipping sauces always has the base of mayonnaise and or sour cream, uh, olive oil mixed in. So this is a cheap addition to your grocery bill because you can do a lot of things with this. And a part of this whole saving money thing while you're shopping is of course you have to kind of be in a healthier mindset. As soon as you start buying boxed goods or pre-made foods, it's pretty much gonna, you know, skyrocket your your grocery bill. So, and you're kind of adopting a healthier lifestyle. You're cooking everything from pretty much scratch. Um, so it's good for you, good for your pocket. And you know, if you're not into that lifestyle yet, Pinterest is a wonderful place to start looking. Uh, a lot of times they'll be like, oh, I have this meal or this type of meat, or I have a lot of potatoes. What's a good meal that has a lot of potatoes or something? And then I'll look up and then, you know, and it also makes you try new things as well. Uh, bulk is also important. So like I said, we are a two person family. Um, and some stuff we can't buy in bulk because it will just go bad. Um, but think of it like you can always process food in a way that it will last longer. So if something's a really, really good deal, uh, think about how you could use it, grab it and process it. Um, produce. So for green or for peppers in general and any sort of fresh produce, anything that's like super expensive, either it's gone up due to shortage or it's not in season, um, we'll just live without until the prices go back to normal, you know. Um, and that's part of this whole thing as well, is just being adaptive uh, and not being too set on certain things. Like for example, uh, there was a point where beef just went up uh, maybe a couple months ago. Beef went up in price like crazy and we just switched to ground turkey and ground pork for a little bit until prices went back down. Um, another thing meat wise that I forgot is we'll pick up when turkeys are on sale. So after Thanksgiving or Easter, they'll go on sale and they'll blow them out. We'll grab turkeys and we could eat a turkey for a whole week. And then from there we make broth and then I freeze it and then we have fresh broth which is absolutely beautiful to have and then with the extra parts of the turkey I actually make dog food um, so any of the pieces that we don't want to eat and then that turkey uh, we just find ways to cook it you could even freeze the cooked turkey if you really really wanted to but we just use it in different meals throughout the week and again that's about getting creative using Pinterest uh, and then you just don't get sick of it you can do like pulled turkey it's like pulled pork really um, back to produce so green peppers are the cheapest of the peppers so we honestly just eat green peppers and you know it doesn't make any difference to us uh, We've kind of gotten used to it so it's completely fine uh i have a husband who eats a lot of food so bulkers so something that you can cook for cheap that just adds a lot to the side and like uh fills you up a lot uh pasta is another really good one so a whole bag of pasta um, will definitely do the trick and you can do a whole bunch of different things with pastas but like pasta salads and then different types of pastas all of the sauce that we um, use with our pastas, we make from scratch as well. So all of our Alfredo sauce, or if we're doing a roasted tomato sauce, um, just get familiar with not having to buy the jarred version of that sauce that you need, but learning what goes into making them. And really, it's so quick once you learn it. Uh, I can make a sauce in five minutes. So, and it tastes way better. Uh, and you're making it for yourself. So if you really, really like garlic, then you add the extra garlic. Discount sections. So I am not above having a good deal. Uh, and anything, so I do skim past them. I have a bag of avocados somewhere as well that were two bucks. So usually one avocado is $2. So just take, take the time to look in those discount sections. Not every grocery store has them. Walmart is probably one of the better ones for having the discount sections. Uh, so that's why I like shopping at Walmart. 
And then more bulk. So we buy our flour in, I think the 10 kg bags. And then these onions. So this is 10 pounds of onions. So we'll go through that. They don't go bad too quickly. We were buying those small nettings. So similar to what you see here. And we'd buy two of them, which is actually exceeds the price of this big bag of onions. So it just makes more financial sense to buy bulk, obviously. And then anything that you can get. So, and kind of think of this obviously like a game. Uh, if you want something at the grocery store, don't restrict yourself from getting it. This isn't supposed to be, this isn't supposed to make you feel restricted. It's just supposed to help you out financially and your family. Huge thing too is chickpeas, beans, stuff like that. So these cans are a dollar and they are great to add the chilies, like I said, tacos, anything like that. Another little helpful money saving tip is make sure you do your grocery shops every two weeks, depending on how big your family is. Um, sometimes you have to go every week, but just make sure it's those set times and try not to go over because they do we recognize too the more trips you make to the grocery store the more money you end up spending if you kind of stick to your two weeks of food it forces you to use that food and get creative so that definitely definitely helps uh, to save money as well all right so this is everything packaged so what this was is $80 worth of meat. And I have 20 packages here. And then there's some cutoffs from the loins, which you can see are pretty fatty. So I'm gonna make bacon out of these ones. So technically 22 packages of meat, but for just supper, uh, straight supper meals, this makes 20, uh, 20 meals, I would say. Okay, another little side note. So another thing that you would typically pick up at the grocery store is laundry detergent, any sort of cleaning supplies. So what we've adapted over the last little bit, and this sounds crazy, but we wash our clothes with baking soda. Uh, I was running low, I ran out of laundry detergent one day, maybe about a year ago, and I was looking up what alternatives could be, and I had baking soda. So it said that you could use baking soda, and I use it in my washing machine, and I haven't noticed a difference at all. So, and then I kind of thought, I'm like, well, why, why am I going out and buying detergent? I don't know what's in the detergent. It's wasteful. It comes in these big jugs that end up in landfills. And yeah, so it is the more environmentally friendly alternative and it's super cheap. So like a box of this lasts, I don't know, three months, two months, depending on how much laundry you have. And then cleaning products. So I'll probably do a video on how to make your own cleaning products. It again is super, super easy. So big box stores, um, companies, they put out all of the, the advertisements up there for you and their goal is to sell you their products, right? And their goal is to make you feel that you can't live without their products. But what that has resulted in is kind of like a brainwashing of society. So when you just break things down, like what is the purpose of me doing this or me buying this and what alternatives can I use in lieu of those products that these companies are trying to sell me? Um, and I think that is pretty much it. All I'm gonna cover, I think I've talked enough. So thank you for listening to my video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything or have your own tips, please put them below. Uh, give it a like and a share if you feel that you want to. And I'm hoping to make more of these in the future. Thanks, have a great day, guys.